All right. Well, good morning. Um, we're going to walk through our lesson for the day. Um, so this is starting out. This is your bell ringer. You should have already completed this on Schoology. Um, just wondering what your experience is with a live theater show um, and what it feels like to be in the audience versus viewing something on a screen or, or on YouTube, on Netflix. Um, and want to know, did you enjoy that experience? And then let me know why. Um, if you haven't seen a live show, what do you think that it would be like? What do you think those differences would be? So today we're talking about what is theater. And so we're going to work together to try to find um, a uh, common definition of what theater is. Now, one thing you'll notice is there's a link to a digital interactive notebook. Uh, this is sort of a guide and notebook that I've uh, created, and I'll create one that goes with each lecture. You can follow along and fill in things as we go, um, and then I'll have you upload those to me. There's a video. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it. It's about um, how to uh, open and make your own copy of the digital interactive notebooks, okay? And then I'll have a place where we can upload those later. Uh, so this is the classroom norms. Uh, we're going to res show respect to uh, ourselves, each other, and our teacher. We're going to stay engaged. Um, we're going to keep our mask on. This is in class. Uh, and then we're going to participate and perform as part of this class. Important information just to know, we have a Thespian Troop Interest meeting Thursday, August 27th at 4.15 p.m. at the Black Box. Uh, those of you who are at home, you can come to that. Uh, we also have a Booster Club meeting. Thursday, August 27th at 6.30 p.m. at Tanglewood Park. And so you can come up to Tanglewood Park. You can meet our boosters. You can find out the information there. Uh, class fees, $25 for Theater One, $30 for all their theater classes. That's due on August 31st. And those checks you can make payable to our booster club, or you can uh, bring the money to school, put it in the safe, and get that to the booster club. All right. So uh, we did the... Uh, thumbs up if game. Um, I'm going to post a list to this again, uh, and it's going to have some new things on it. And I want you to film yourself. Thumbs up if it's true about you. Thumbs down if it's not. Um, and then some of them have questions, so you can give us some explanations. In class, we're playing this as the stand up game. So we're starting with some discussion. And you fill out your interactive notebook with this, but I'd love your comments uh, below. You could sort of answer these questions. So the first question is, what is theater? So to you, if you had to give a definition of theater, what would that definition be? Also, uh, what is drama? Um, so we know maybe ideas of drama are things being dramatic. So what would you make your definition of drama? What makes something dramatic? What is it that gives something that dramatic feel? And what makes a dramatic production different than a film? Go ahead and press pause right now and answer these questions in the comment below. All right. So right now, uh, I would like you to... Um, do a, a little interview, okay? So um, the idea here is you're going to find someone and you're going to interview them to find out what they think theater is. So uh, you could do this in two ways. If you want to, you could, if you know anyone in this class, um, you could do like a uh, Google Meet or something like that, Zoom, and record the interview. Or you could find someone in your house uh, that you could record, or um, you can interview anyone. You can FaceTime them and just uh, record it. Um, and here's what you want to know. You want to know what is theater? Do you prefer theater or film and why? And why is theater important? So you're going to interview someone. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, and then we're going to have an upload link for where you can upload those videos to Schoology. So go ahead right now, press pause, and go do your interview. So here is our definition of what theater is. Theater is the art of writing, acting, and producing plays. 
theater can be different for uh, different situations, different personalities. There could be different reasons why people want to do theater. One of those things can be social change. Uh, we know that social changes have happened throughout history. Uh, we've seen the rise and fall of, of kingdoms, of civilizations. Um, and in those, a lot of times you have people in theater providing either um, a new voice or commentary on those things that are happening in society. Uh, what are some social change things that you would like to see? And do you know of any theater? And on this, you could even say any film, anything um, that is contributing to those social changes or providing commentary on. Another thing would be to express emotion. Uh, the Greeks called this catharsis. Uh, it meant from the heart. And the idea was we go to theater so we can uh, see these deep emotions expressed on stage and we can sort of have a shared collective uh, emotional response. So not just me individually, but us as a community can watch and we can get emotions out. So if we have issues with anger, if we have issues with fear, if we have issues of immense joy, we can together experience those and get those things out of us because the Greeks believe that if you left emotions unchecked, it wasn't good for society. And so we needed a, a healthy way to deal with them. And they did that through theater. Another way would be entertainment. Uh, theater can be to entertain. Um, and there are a lot of people that like to be entertained. And so um, that can be your reason as well. If, if what you like is, you know, the idea of just being entertained for an hour and a half, two hours. Um, that's a great reason to experience and perform in theater. So on your own, I want you to use your interactive notebook, uh, and I want you to create a poster explaining theater. So think about these questions as you're gonna as you're gonna make your poster. Okay, who is theater for? What does it do? Why do we need it? Why is it different than TV and film? Okay, so you're gonna press pause here. You're gonna go in to your interactive notebook, and you're gonna create your own poster, okay? And there are some instructions on the notebook. So right now, uh, your next section of your notebook, it's talking about why theater. So this is a, um, a talk that is given by a uh, theater director, and I'm gonna put the link on School, Schoology so you can sort of click on the link so we won't watch it through this screen. Um, but it, it follow your notes, fill in the notes as you go. Um, you're going to sort of see what his ideas are surrounding uh, theater and why theater is essential to democracy. It takes you about 15 minutes to watch it. Um, he has a lot of good points. Now, just so we're going to hear from a lot of voices this year about theater and talking about it. And you may not agree 100% with everything. I don't agree 100% with everything that's presented. Uh, but the idea is we're listening to a collective of voices uh, to seek and find the truth of the matter. And so um, just know as, as you're listening, uh, there are things that, that may be brought up that, that may be more of a sensitive subject, but that's okay, um, sensitive subject, because we're going to explore those things together and see how theater gives a voice to these areas. So right now, I want you to press pause. I want you to go into Schoology and uh, go watch this, Why Theater is Essential to Democracy. All right, so you just watched it and came back. Uh, so uh, one thing he says is the conflict of different points of view leads to truth. Does it? I think it does. I think the conflict of different points of view can lead us to sort of know what we believe and why we believe it. Um, and if everyone, you know, just agreed upon and accepted everything that they always heard, um, that's more compliance than truth, right? We want to we want to have these conflicts of different points of view to lead to truth. Theater provides a great place uh, where these conflicts can happen because, as as Oscar pointed out, you can have two people on stage with different viewpoints having a conversation that we as an audience are getting to listen to, and some of those opinions and viewpoints are uh, are ours, right? And so we hear and go, oh, I think like that. But now it's causing me to look in, in a world where my ideas and opinions can really be explored and seen um, in, in good ways, but also in, in dangerous ways. Uh, what are the necessary tools for democratic citizenship? He says, truth comes from a collection of ideas, not just one idea, but a collection, and the emotional muscle of empathy. 
And the idea that we can empathize with each other, that we don't just look and say, oh, too bad, too bad about that person. And so these two things come together. And by coming together, um, they provide this democratic citizenship, um, the place where many ideas can come together and lead to conflict. But hopefully that leads us to a place of truth, but also in our search for truth that we don't lack the empathy for others and looking out and seeing how to help one another. Theater brings a collective experience to laugh together, cry together, hold your breath together. This collective experience uh, is what theater is all about. It's, it's a, an experience not just for the actors on stage and the technicians and, and the director and the behind the scenes people. It's also a collective experience mainly for the audience who are experiencing it in that moment. Now, I spoke of barriers, um, and I don't know if you got these, but just in case you didn't, uh, the barriers of access and the barriers of participation. He's talking about, you know, the, the world has sort of shifted away in the idea of, you know, theater used to be uh, to give voice to people who were oppressed, but almost he sees this shift where theater becomes, well, it is giving a voice to oppressed, but only these people who were oppressed are the only ones who are going to have voice. And if you don't agree with us, well, then we just won't worry about you. And, and he's saying we, we've swung so far that now theater is isolating these groups of people and acting like they don't matter. And so we need to give access to everyone, but we also need room for them to participate um, whether by viewing, whether by being a part of, but participate in this process of theater and hearing the collection of ideas and, and giving them uh, a way to, to flex their own muscle of empathy so that collectively as communities, we can laugh together, cry together, hold our breath together, examine truth together, and hopefully come out stronger on the other side. Um, artistry is, I think the word is, I didn't fill it in, did I? Essential to being a human. We all have this idea of artistry. Uh, when you were a child, you began uh, by playing outside, right? Uh, no one told you necessarily how to play. Uh, artistry is essential to being a human. We all know how to create in some way. It's just some people get to create even more. Those who do theater, uh, those who play a musical instrument, their artistry is more on display full time. Um, Mike Pence said when going to Hamilton, he was booed, the vice president elect at that time. And he said booing was what freedom sounded like. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? I think that's a profound statement because the idea here is that he was being booed. Uh, people seemingly uh, were against him. But his point was we live in a democracy where you can be where you can boo the other guy. You can boo the second most in a vital person in a democracy, right? Which is the vice president um, and, and not uh, worry about retribution, not worry about uh, being locked up, right? That, that we have this freedom in our country to disagree and that's okay. Um, this goes back to something earlier, but theater has turned its back on a large part of the country with something that was said. Is that true or false? Do you agree or disagree? Now, I think the idea here is, do you feel um, that you are represented well um, in theater? Do you know of shows that represent you, that speak to you, to your things that are going in in your life? Um, and so as part of that is you may not have access to those things, right? Um, and so if, if a show has never came through, um, if, if you haven't had access to see those shows, if they do exist, um, then that would be something um, that theater as a whole needs to do better at. But also participation. Have you been invited in? Have there been ways uh, for you to take part in those types of theater? Um, and if they don't exist, then how can you now jump in and be part of the solution? All right. So this is something, uh, an exercise we're doing in class. I don't really... Uh, have a, a corresponding exercise uh, to do virtually. Uh, but this is the idea of just collective concentration. So we have everyone in the room close their eyes and we count um, starting with one to whatever the biggest. So let's say we have 12 people in the classroom. We're going to count to 12. But only each person can say one number at one time. No two people can talk at the same time. Um, and the game's not over until we get all the way through to 12. And so it takes just collective breathing, collective counting, 
um, and just some focus and, and calmness. Uh, you can play this game at your house, right? You can get your family together. Hey, everybody, close your eyes. Get them breathing. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold it. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to count. Let's say there's five people in your family. One to five. Uh, no two people can say a number at the same time. You have to say your number when you feel like you're supposed to say it. And then someone says one. And then two people say two. And you go, start over. One, two. Two people say three. Start over. And you just go that and see how long it takes uh, to get to that number. All right, here's an assignment I want you to do. So there's a link for chapter one. There's also a link for glossary. I want you to read through chapter one. Uh, and then I want you to do these definitions in your interactive notebook, okay? So find these definitions, uh, write them out, type them out in your interactive notebook, and that will be good for the day. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to get all this posted, and hopefully I'll have a place for you to write everything. Uh, thanks so much. Oh, and tomorrow at 1015, um, I'll post a Google Meet. And uh, if you have questions about anything, if you want to jump on uh, to discuss anything, please, please, please jump on tomorrow at 1015. Thanks. Stop sharing. Bye.